John Penrose. Number five, Mr Speaker. Minister. Mr Speaker, the Government is committed to helping people keep more of what they earn. And I'd like to pay credit to the, uh, the work that the Honourable Member for Western Supermare did, which was instrumental in our lowering of the universal credit taper rate from 63% to 55%. That's a tax cut for low-paid workers on universal credit. And he will know that from July we will raise the next threshold so the amount working people will be able to earn tax-free will increase by £2,690, helping to ensure that work pays. John Penrose. Mr Speaker, I'd like to thank my honourable friend for her kind comments and say that the changes she's just announced are, or re-announced are extremely welcome. But with energy and food prices continuing to spiral, would the Treasury team accept that we will soon have to go even further? Will they agree with me that, compared to increasing benefits, further cuts in these combined tax and benefits withdrawal rates would be a better way of putting money in many lower-paid families' pockets, and that in future the combined rates paid by less well-off families should never be higher than the top rates paid by the rich? Okay. Boris Sherman. Uh, <laughs> I, I know the Honourable Member has a very keen interest in this area. And I've read his report, uh, Poverty Trapped, with some interest. He makes a really valuable point, and uh, he will know that the government have made progress in this area. The old system applied an effective tax rate of over 90% to lower earners in some cases. Mm -hmm. And as a result of the changes that we have recently made, for example, an adult working 35 hours at the national living wage with two children over five will benefit from an additional £1,610 a year. 